So I got my tires back from the shop. Brand new, brand new rubber. Now they're ready to be installed back on the bike. So I'm gonna start with the rear. Put the cush drives back in. Put a light coat of grease around this edge here. And then pop the, put the sprocket back on. So the uh, spacers just wipe off the old grease. And put on some new grease. Do the same thing to the other side. Uh, clean off the axle. Put a light coat of grease on it. Now you're ready to put the rear wheel back on. Okay, now that the uh, axle is in, just place your um, adjustment blocks back in its place. So I'll be using a little bit of anti-seize on the threads here, so then the next time I remove it, it'll be a lot easier. Now, if you notice in the beginning of this uh, video, the first part of this video, I did not touch my adjusters. So technically, you shouldn't have to readjust the chain tension or um, alignment because that wasn't adjusted. However, uh, you do need to tighten up the slack before you tighten up this bolt. So, um, so you just simply stick something in the chain, tighten up the slack while you um, tighten up this bolt. Now it is a good idea to 
check the alignment again um, if you're not sure but I'm pretty sure that this is aligned and it has not changed and then we reinstalled the rear caliper again put a little bit of uh, anti-seize on the bolts so it can come out easier the next time you want to remove it And then uh, torque everything down to the manufacturer's specs. I'm going to torque these and torque that bolt down. <laughs> 